Well, it's been a while since we made a video, so I thought I'd pick a little project uh, that some of you expressed an interest in and uh, do that. I'm pretty well caught up with my other stuff for the moment. So uh, I thought what we'd make this time would be a couple of vultures. And uh, maybe later on, after we get them made, we can work them into a small scene. So anyway, I thought we'd start out here at the blog. And uh, if some of you aren't familiar with moving around my blog, I'll show you how to do it. So OK, we're doing vultures. Well, I've done those before. So there's a couple ways to find the reference material that, I like, that I've uh, already got on here. And I'll show you how to do that. All right, first thing, you can come over here and you can go, go to the Picasso Photo Gallery and click on that. And that'll take you to the gallery. And you can search down through here for uh, carvings that have vultures. Well, right there's one. See, here's the vultures right here. OK. But there's another way to do it that's uh, a little easier. If you don't know where that post is, <coughs> excuse me. Just go over here on the right side and scroll down here to the labels. And scroll down through these labels until you come to the word vultures. Right there. Click on it. Alright, there's a couple of vultures right there. Those are the same two, they just haven't been paint, uh, painted yet. Okay? And this will be the post that these two guys flew in for, okay? And if there's other posts here that have vultures in them, they will appear right underneath, right underneath that one. But being as there's not any other posts that I've put on there uh, with vultures, there's nothing there, okay? So that's, that's two ways you can get to these posts. So let's go back to the Picasso Gallery. Scroll down to where those vultures are. And here they are. I don't know what their names are, but they're a couple of shifty looking guys. Here they are unpainted after I parked them. And back here, like I said before, there they are painted. Okay? And here are some of the other accompanying photographs that uh, went along with that post. There's the back of them, the front of them, and how they fit into the scene. See, they're sitting there probably discussing what they're going to hopefully do when these other two guys leave. So anyway, that's what we're going to carve. I looked through my files, and I didn't have any patterns, so I drew, drew up a, a new one for you. So uh, we'll go over to the carving table pick it up from there. But anyway, you can come to this site here and use these guys as reference material for what, what they'll look like when they're finished. Alrighty, so here we are. I've already got this drawn out. We're going to do these guys in two pieces, okay? And we'll put a dowel right here, which will go into the neck right there. And these guys are four inches. I've got four inches here. High school drafting experience is coming in handy here. So there we got four inches. Now its uh, thickness is one and a quarter inches. Okay. I'll just put that on there for fun. Put this uh, drawing in the gallery associated with that carving. And this here, the body, it's also going to be one and a quarter inch thick. And I just happen to have me a piece of wood here that is one and a quarter inches thick. That's uh, some of that good Heineke bass wood. So, what we're going to do now is just transfer this off to this block of wood which cost me five dollars and forty cents. Well, that's going to be a good investment because I know I'm going to make five dollars and forty cents off of this vulture. 
Like I say, we're going to carve two of these guys for that moment. I'm just going to cut out one of them. So we'll just draw this pattern off of here. running up and down. We always remember run the grain with the strength of your wood. So you have the strength of the carbon. Okay. Now we won't be able to draw that side profile until we modifying my drawing right here on this block of wood to even things up. So, there are two pieces, okay? So I'm going to go over and cut these out on the bandsaw. Okay, over here at the bandsaw, it's going to get noisy. Probably the first thing you notice right away is this hole in my shirt. Well, like Gus said in uh, Lonesome Dove, I'm not one that gives up on a piece of clothing just because it has a little wear on it. So anyway, let's get go on and cut this one out. close to this piece and I'd also like to cut the side profile out if I can. I'm just going to go straight down here. Just like that. Over here I'm going to go
bullshitting around here. I'm going to get arrested. See, these two will fit together like that right there. Okay? Okay. We've got our blanks cut out. I went ahead and uh, lopped off a little more here. This is the shoulders coming up, and this is the bottom of the feathers coming down. Wouldn't have been that hard to whittle it off. But anyway, here we've got our two blanks now. We've got our head and our body. And like I said, these two will go together once we get them carved. And they look big and bulky right now, but like uh, you should always remember when you're doing a carving and cutting it out on a bandsaw, always leave a lot of excess wood to carve off because uh, you can't add it back on very easily after uh, if you cut along if you cut along the line. The old saying, "Coloring inside the lines or carving may work, but it doesn't work for carving. You should always." Always, if possible, cut a little outside those lines when you're whittling. Cut it, uh, or cutting out a blank. It, it may cause you to have to do a little extra work, but believe me, it'll pay off in the end. So anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and carve these two pieces, carve this buzzer, off camera. And when we come back for the next segment, I'll have me another blank just like this, or very similar to this, uh, which I'll, we'll whittle on, and we'll have a bird to use as a go-by. And also, I want to keep these videos a little shorter than we have in the past because it's hard to upload them. For some reason, everybody keeps changing their uh, software to where it just makes things more difficult. So anyway, until next time, uh, when we'll get going on this bird in earnest, I'll talk to you later.